Electrolysis of Sodium Chloride Solution by kscience.com The electrolysis of sodium chloride solution uses a cell or power pack. Connected to the power pack are two electrodes. Here I'm drawing negative signs as this is the negative electrode. And here I'm drawing positive signs as this is the positive electrode. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound and its chemical formula is NaCl. Solid sodium chloride has a giant ionic lattice structure made of sodium cations and chloride anions which are held in a fixed arrangement and vibrate about their position. They are not free to move. As this is the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution, this means the sodium chloride has dissolved in liquid water. The molecular formula of water is H2O and L for liquid. This ball and stick model shows how water is a simple molecule where the hydrogen and oxygen atoms are bonded by single covalent bonds. And what holds these ions in place are ionic bonds. When the sodium chloride is placed into the water, the covalent bonds between the hydrogen and oxygen atoms break. The water molecule ionizes into hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. And we can show this in an equation. H2O, alpha liquid, ionizes into H plus, Aq for aqueous, plus OH minus, Aq for aqueous. The water molecule is ionized into a hydrogen cation and a hydroxide anion. The container contains the electrolyte, which consists of water and sodium chloride. The electrolyte is the ionic compound which is being broken down by electricity. Notice how the ions are free to move in the electrolyte. The sodium chloride ionic compound has dissociated so the ions are free to move. And the water molecule, a simple molecule, has ionized into hydrogen and hydroxide ions. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Remember, the negative electrode is called the cathode and the positive electrode is called the anode. Cations are attracted to the cathode and anions are attracted to the anode. At the cathode, metals less reactive than hydrogen will be discharged. As sodium is more reactive than hydrogen, hydrogen gas will be formed at the cathode and at the anode, halide anions will discharge instead of hydroxide anions. Therefore, the chloride anions will discharge, forming chlorine gas, as chlorine is a halogen. Let's now focus on what happens in the metal wire and the electrolyte. As the electrons flow from the negative terminal, in the electrolyte, the ions are free to move. So, the positive cations are attracted to the cathode and the negative anions are attracted to the anode. At the same time, the electrons are flowing through the metal wire to the cathode. At the cathode, the positive hydrogen cations gain one electron each, forming neutral hydrogen atoms. These hydrogen atoms are unstable as individual atoms, as they do not have a full outer shell of electrons. So they form a covalent bond with each other, where they form a hydrogen molecule. So at the cathode, hydrogen gas forms, which rises upwards. We can show what's happening at the cathode by using a half equation. This is H plus plus electron forms H2. We put a big two in front of the H plus and then a big two in front of the electron. At the anode, each chloride anion has one extra electron than proton. Each chloride anion loses its electron to the anode, forming chlorine atoms. 
these chlorine atoms are unstable by themselves. So they form chlorine molecules, which forms a yellow green gas, which rises upwards. We can show what's happening at the anode by using a half equation. This is Cl minus forms Cl2 plus electrons. To balance this, there are two chlorine atoms on the right and one on the left. So we put a big two in front of the Cl minus. The charge on the left is now two minus. So we put a big two on the right in front of the electron to balance the charge. As the hydrogen cations have gained electrons, reduction has taken place at the cathode. And because the chloride anions have lost electrons, oxidation has taken place at the anode. Now, chlorine gas has formed at the anode and hydrogen gas has formed at the cathode. This leaves sodium hydroxide in solution. Sodium hydroxide has a chemical formula of NaOH. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.